what's up it's me again marcher pass welcome back and welcome to our channel if you're new to our channel and you want to stick around please hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you're always updated whenever i post new videos also please follow me on my other social media accounts all my handles are listed down below if you want to check them out we have yet another video and i know the reason why you're on this video is because you've finally decided and you want to create or start a YouTube channel and you want to become successful. So without further ado, let's proceed to our video, shall we? If you're an aspiring YouTuber, you need to make sure that it's not fame or money why you want to be on YouTube. Fame and money will just be the results of all your hard work and passion on making and creating videos. So that's my short TED talk and you're welcome. First of all, no YouTuber has no YouTube channel, so create one. The steps are here, or you can Google them, but what's important is you have a profile pic and a YouTube banner so people will know what to expect when they visit your channel. Next is to have a camera. You don't actually need an expensive or high-end vlogging camera. You can simply use your smartphone because I think all phones right now can create high-quality videos. Well, if not all, most, right? All my videos are shot using my Huawei Nova 3i and I'm so happy with the video quality. Next is lighting. It's a no-brainer simply because no one would watch a video if they can't see what they're watching. Like, if it's too dark. So when I make videos, I use ring light, but if you're on a tight budget, you can always use natural light so all you need to do is to film in front of a window so you can catch the light for your audience to see you clearly next is audio you can always use your phone or camera's mic but you can also use a separate mic what's important is that you speak clearly modulate your voice so your audience can understand you well if not they will not even right Next is editing. It's okay not to edit your videos if you want to showcase the rawness or realness of your videos. Rawness. Is there such a word? Okay. But if you're doing a sit-down video and you're giving out information like having a TED talk, you need to edit and remove unnecessary stuff so you are straight to the point. You don't want to waste your audience time. I'm using my phone when I'm editing videos and I'm using Kind Master, but you have a lot of options out there where you can get from Google Play Store or iTunes. What's important is that's free and you're comfortable using it. Last but not the least is to publish your videos. This is the scariest part because this is when you put yourself out there for people to see and for people to hate or love and you don't even know what's gonna happen next. I can still remember the time I uploaded my first video. And that was scary as fuck, but I don't even know how many watched it. But you know what? You just have to do it. You cannot be a successful YouTuber if you don't have a published video. Duh. You need to be familiar with SEO or search engine optimization, but you have to let me know in the comment section below if you want to discuss that further because that's too much for me to handle. Next is the three R's of creating content. Real, relevant, and relatable. I've always wanted to create videos about me, but I realized that no one would bother to watch what's happening in my life. So I followed the 80-20 content rule. This is when 80% of your videos are those videos that people want and need to see. And the 20% are those videos that you just want to do for yourself and for your channel. So next is I reached out to one of the successful YouTubers and content creators here in the Philippines asking for advice on how to become successful in YouTube. And so I got a response from DG Reson. I 
quote. Kasi before, is naganap ako ng international blogger or creators like Tara Milty or at Do You Travel. Then medyo pinipeg ko sila when it comes to creating my content since travel sila. Basta know your niche, also the category na pupersumo muna. So I'd like to thank DJ Rason for spending time and for being humble, sharing his advice and tips on how to become a successful YouTuber um, that I'm sure our community appreciates. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope this inspired you to start a YouTube channel. While waiting for the next video where I list down YouTube topics that will become trending or will blow up, go ahead and watch these videos for some random content. But for now, I want to say that I wish you all the best and a happy life. I'll see you on the next video. Bye! So while waiting for the... Ah, that's my short time to... Nobody I what would what that.